welcome to the finals of Game On 2017. You are joined by myself, Tom Pickering, aka We Free Men, and also Danny, Sir Danny. And we've been casting for you all of today, also yesterday for PUBG, but today we're going to be seeing that the final two teams are battling out for not only the crown and the, the also the uh, obviously the trophy, but also trophy the winnings as well. afterwards as well. So, Danny, what are your thoughts on this lineup? I've got to admit. In the grand final, the grand scheme of things, I was expecting to see the Belarusian team come out on top in the end, surely. But uh, man, that was a convincing best of three. I've got to admit, done into a good old fashioned, a 2 0 fashion. And well, I have to admit, the Belarusian team definitely played it, definitely stepped up when they had to at the very, very remainder of the second half on Inferno. They definitely yeah. stepped up. They got the win. They won the best of three. And of course, grand final. Worst case scenario for any team. You get the second place, but surely nobody wants second place. They want to get the first place, and well, I'm guessing uh, just gonna have to see which team is it gonna be. Honestly, I'm thinking the Belarusian team could might as well very much do it. Yeah, and it's gonna be on the very much puggy style map on Cash, and we haven't seen this one at all throughout the whole of this uh, competition here live at Game On. It's gonna be pretty interesting to actually have it uh, sort of casted here. Uh, we would have seen it if it had gone to a best of the actual third map last, uh, in the last semi-final, but it didn't quite happen, didn't quite make it, but nonetheless, we will be going into the game shortly, and it'll be the knife round to decide which side is on, which team is on which side. That's gonna be pretty interesting to see as well. I think we're gonna be seeing the, the Belarus team try and smash it out on this map, using a lot of the basic tactics here. But we could see, obviously, the opt petition come back here and just smash it out. Uh, could be. I mean, that could very much be the case. I've got to admit, this Belarusian team is actually very, very good. I have seen them play in cash as well. Their cash isn't really the best, but I'm wondering what can uh, WASD bring to the table because, of course, I still don't really know the map picks, but I'm guessing this is still maybe a map pick of WASD. That's what I'm guessing yeah. for because you take a look at the map. A map like this is definitely that tad bit more has that uh, puggy, shall I say, style to it in comparison to what a map like uh, Good Jobs like Good Job. The maps like Good Job likes playing. For instance, they like their cobblestones. They like their mirages and whatnot. So they definitely like the more, uh, shall I say, tactical maps. But of course, not to say that they cannot show up on a map like Cash. Yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting, so we should be going live here, guys, any moment in the knife round. Going to be going out. Good job versus WASD Sports. And we saw, obviously, they just smash their opponents out earlier on today and really going to be trying to push it forward. Hello, Lollipop. How are you doing, lad? <laughs> obviously doing very well in his uh, previous games. Uh, he's obviously on the Belarus team. And we're going straight into the game here, guys. Knife round going to be going out in towards mid. Take it away, Danny. Yeah, of course, the knife round does commence here. It looks like the Belarusian team might come out on top here. Vista is the last man standing, but okay then. We've got a bit of a fight here going on, but still it's going to be the good job team coming out on top. Of course, knife rounds. On a map like Cash, I don't think the knife round does really have that sort of, no. so I would say, value to it like in comparison to other maps. A map like Nuke, a map like Train. Surely Cash is a pretty even map. It's a pretty 50-50 uh, map. Yeah, I think it really comes into effect when your team is more, uh, well, is, is easier to tilt uh, and you, you sort of tend to lose morale, uh, morale sort of within the team a lot easier. So say if uh, uh, you took like Hell, Hellraisers earlier on, like they would just go in and they, they would go for Nuke and they would go for the T side instead. They would start losing and then move forward from there. But nonetheless, nothing about Hellraisers. Back into this game, 2017, game on final right here. Good job versus WSD. First map, Cash. And we're going to be seeing good job style on the CT side. Box going to be in mid. He's waiting for them to walk past him. He hits the headshot. There's another one above him. He almost kills him, but Coffee takes the kill instead, whilst the, uh, Death Hustle is actually going to be able to take down Gabarek. Yeah, things are looking up here for the CT side. Of course, Vista, at least he will be getting the one frag, but there's Box yet again. A frag of his own, and wow, this has been a stomp from the good job side. They completely destroyed the opposition that is the Estonian team. They didn't really have uh, much of an answer by the looks of it. Yeah, they couldn't really do anything against it. It was just a complete, just flat out smash down. I mean, we obviously saw down towards mid box was trying to get multiple kills, but Coffee actually stole it. But he, he would have had it anyway. He had his uh, crosshair lined up, but Coffee just beat him to the punch as we move forward into the second round here. Uh, but nonetheless, there's, there's going to be some SMGs coming out across. Good job, actually. Three MP9s, two UMPs, and they're going to be going up against a force by here. Gabra going to get absolutely dunked on there, down to 51 HP. Smoke goes off from the CTs, and Lawandi comes out. Gabrick going to be able to make a high-impact play here in towards mid, takes down Coffee. He's going to turn him into Latte there, and we're going to have one player over towards Squeaky here for the T's as well. Some progression in towards mid from a few of the players. Unless it's not going to be too quick play, but there's actually going to be box coming in towards a main. Yeah, that was a pretty impressive shot. I've got to admit, that's another impressive shot. This time around, it's from Dodds, and again, 
the Deagles come through, but now Bog's gonna see a lot of players coming his way. Of course, the Deagles are shining through, and good job. Well, they seem to be lost coming into this round. Of course, the Deagles, they are powerful. By the looks of it, that's Hustle still trying to survive, but this has been a stop, but this time around, it's from the Estonian team themselves. Yeah, what well, fantastic play in the end there from these guys. Going to be able to win the second round just up against them. And you know what? It's because they might have bought up those SMGs instead of upgraded uh, rifles, especially on a map like Cash, when you do have those uh, long, longer distance fights. It's quite crucial to be able to buy up either rifle or, you know, be able to actually get those trade frags. And with an MP9, it's very hard, especially against armored, armored opponents. And they're going to be uh, punished for this. And they're going to have to go into a, a sort of partial buy here with force, I guess, to try and recover this. So two players in towards mid for the T side. Dodds over in towards a main, trying to make an entrance here. Not so much going to be happening here from the CT side. They're not playing aggressive. They're just holding on to the site, sites and also in towards mid. And very loosely on mid, I might say, Coffee with the Deagle has to be very careful because he could easily get outshot by one of these AKs. And there is two of them, and plus two UMPs and the MP9 on Gabrick as well. As they look to push in here, execution should be coming out on the A site. Yeah, the execute. Should be coming in any moment now. There we go. We get to see the malt up the flashes as well. Now it's about time. Now it's time for the WASD side to pounce. It looks like it's working out quite well. Dots with the one frag. It gets a second one at that. Nyx is still inside itself, but not for long. Anyhow, Lollipop and the Sussel still survive, but uh, I don't think for long because Dots, he's hungry for frags, but he's not going to be successful. Not yet to see the Sussel. And Lollipop, they are going to try to go for this one. I mean, they might as well try to, but Pitcher with the frag. Of course, Lollipop now in a horrible predicament. He's got 17 points of health, and now he's got zero points of health. It's going to be another round here for the Estonian squad. Yeah, an absolutely fantastic round from them as well. I mean, you can't blame them being able to just smash out, especially when they're uh, doing a follow-up from the round where they, they shouldn't have won. But thanks to those Deagles, they're able to just easily smash it out. I mean, if we have a look at the, the buy here from the CTs, it's going to be uh, probably a little bit less than uh, wanted. You can see them, obviously, they're just going to go in for the eco here uh, as they push forward. I think maybe a flashbang heal there, but otherwise not too much. Bitcher is going to be dropping down in uh, towards mid as well, trying to take control over towards a uh, white crate. In towards, uh, actually, a main. They're going to be pushing, but the MAC-10 going huge, taking out two MP9 chiming in. This is a lot of money. Dodds, there's nothing in the sky there. What are you doing? He's just spraying and praying up into the sky. A little bit strange, but nonetheless, Lollipop, the man to try and clutch it out with the USP. Might be able to find one kill. No, you're going to get denied it, Bitcher. Going to be able to finish him off. Yeah, it seems to be the case. Looking quite good here for the Estonians. I mean, they've got themselves a 3 to 1 lead. That's pretty good on the map of Cash. Surely this round is going to be of great importance because this is the very first gun round. Now, the gun round, of course, can mean quite a lot of things, but of course, this being Cash, I wouldn't say that it has the most, the greatest importance in the world, especially spurring the Boric SMGs across for both of those players, in fact. Yeah, so they have to be careful going into this. Look at this dress. That's Hustle going to be able to pick up the first kill onto Dodds. And that Spur is not able to try and find the refrag. Remember, this man is actually the AWP player on his side as well. So they have to be a little bit careful with this. He's trying to earn some extra cash for the MAC-10, but I think they might be going a little bit too much into the just saving, but they're treating this like a bonus round. So if they lose this round, they're not too worried. And they might well just to happen as well, because Box is going to be able to take down Vista. Spur with a MAC-10 trying to take the player down in towards a uh, sort of vent room, but it might not happen. He's going to get flashed in towards uh, B here. Bitch is going to be able to find a frag, but the counter coming out from Death Hustle takes down him. And now the MAC-10 comes in to charm. He's going to be able to upgrade as well. He's going to be left in a 1v3 situation. The pressure's going to be on his shoulders. He's going to get taken down. Coffee going to be able to finish him off as we go into the uh, sixth round here. Two, three in favor of WSD Sports. And a pause already. Already a pause here from the Estonian side, which is a bit of a odd predicament. I mean, this is very early on. Very early on, indeed. And for them to actually go for a tactical pause, I mean, I'm not quite sure what's the reasoning behind it. I mean, this is so early on. They haven't really tried a lot of things. I mean, they've tried pushing towards the a bomb. So that push on the b bomb side, that was a bit dreadful. I mean, good job. Pretty much <laughs> annihilated the Estonian squad. So, of course, I mean, they've still got something to work with. I mean, next round, they can maybe try uh, taking up mid control. Why not? Middle hasn't really been contested ever since that uh, very first pistol round. So, might as well try out that part of the map. See how it goes. Box, he's not uh, that good of a player. He has, been, he has died in middle. <laughs> I mean, so Once they might as well try to get again. Yeah, I think part of this is actually, uh, and I don't know, a few of the 
more sort of bigger analysis like Lopez will probably beat me for this. Um, but I think it's partly to do with the momentum as well that they're trying to stop this. They're trying to stop a good job already. So they may they knew they were going to lose that round in the end, but they did as much damage as they could. And if you look at the economy here, it's quite stressed in favor of actually it's quite equal because if you have a look, Gavrik, he's gone 10K, we've got 9K on Spur. They can do a drop across the board, but they could also do a bit of a weaker buy and make sure they buy up the AWP from Gavrik, drop it over to Spur, go for the aggressive into Pekin's mid. But I think the main cause of this uh, pause this early on is one, to make sure they recollect themselves, stop the momentum, and being able to uh, really push on through uh, to the other side. When when, this, when teams start building up momentum, they start just steamrolling. You hear it a lot when it comes to VP and their plow, which it's kind of broken down over the last sort of six to sort of 12 months with the uh, Virtus Pro, obviously. But um, hopefully, like other teams will be able to pick that up. And it's across the board for all the teams that they have the tendency to just follow that momentum. Yeah, of course, like we mentioned, the plow. And of course, the plow, I think in most cases, it is strongest on cash. That was definitely one of their strongest maps, but time has passed, and then, well, the time has also passed, and we are good to go. We are back, and this is going to be the sixth round here, WSD Sports. Three rounds on the board, good job, only two, but still, like I said, these are the very early stages of this first half, and we have so much to go here. Yeah, and I mean, look at this interesting position straight away, right next to Red Crate. And this is a, it is a crucial one, uh, but you have to be very careful in this one as well. Because if they rush in, you're gonna, you might end up getting trapped, but you could also fall back very easily here. And it is going to be the execute in towards the A site one from Squeaky, one from mid. This is perfect. They're just going to sandwich them in, but Box doesn't want to get sandwiched in. He goes in for the aggression, takes that one, but the trade coming in. It's going to be a two on two situation. Rotation has to come in. The bomb needs to get pushed over towards the A site, but guess what? Lollipop, Dress Desos have got something to say against this Chucks down in Sydney. is trying to stop them from being able to get the bomb on the site. And there we go. They're going to be going in for frags. It doesn't quite work out. It's now going to be down, down to Death Hassel to try and try and save this. But Dan, he's in a terrible position here. He's going in for the spray for the smoke. Almost gets it. He's down to 15 HP. A single grenade could take him down, but luckily hit him. There's no grenades on the map. Nine HP on Bitcher. Gabrick, he's got 50. He finds one kill. Death Hassel going to be able to take it down the higher health player as well. He's got one frag on the board, and he no doesn't get it. And it's actually going to be the clutch from Bitcher. Going to be able to take the fourth round in a, well, not in a row, but another round on the board for WSD. That was crazy in the end. I mean, in that three versus two, you still got to be wondering, okay, good job in a pretty good position to actually pick that one up. But still, one of the players on the side gets taken down, and well, bitch, you're also doing a very good job on the defense, of course. A valiant effort coming in there from the CT, but surely WSD Sports is going to be another round for them, and that means. It means that the CTs have to eco yet again, as of course, they need to build out as many, as much money as possible. Of course, things are not looking as bad as one might think. Let's take a look. The CT is going to try to go for this push, but Vista actually is going to be wrecking both of them. Only a couple damage has been dealt, but definitely not a lot. Coffee might be doing something about with the USB. Gets the dink, but the dink is not enough. And of course, Lollipop still survives, but um, I'm not thinking for long. Spur, <laughs> Mac 10 in hand. He just wants to uh, farm some money. Yeah, he might be, might be able to do something, but I mean, the USP is, I mean, it's, it's the default weapon. I mean, what more can you expect? I mean, if you get killed for Fantastic, he doesn't, he's going to fall down. And they're Slide not going to have, down. yeah, I mean, they're not even going to have much money into this uh, next round on the CT side. They can force into it. I don't, I don't even know if I'd recommend that. I mean, they, they want to try and keep uh, WSD's uh, economy a little bit lower. And I mean, it's already starting to build. I mean, you can see 6K, 6K, 4.6K, and then two, players with uh, just over 2k as well so fantastic economy starting to build on WSD some armor being bought up with upgraded guns and there we go first kill from Spur hitting those hops as well we all know and love those hops coming in a little bit too fast for Z you could say as the push comes in towards A yeah maybe a bit too fast for Z not necessarily for Phoenix though but anyhow Dodds will be getting that frag and of course this is a bit of a partial buy you could say from the CT so they're not expecting too much coffee does get the one frag though not quite sure where that happened. I'm guessing towards that A bomb set, but of course, this hustle is way quick to the flank, and they've got to be careful about this one, WASD. Surely they have made their way into the bomb site, but they still haven't planted it. This will allow this hustle to get the frag, and of course, Lollipop with the dig. He knows, he knows the positioning of one, but surely, can he actually get that frag very close there? Spur, I think, doesn't see Lollipop. No, he does, but of course, drops down as quick as possible. And of course, Coffee and Lollipop, they are going to try and go for this one. They've only got those pistols. Lollipop with the frag. Lollipop with a second, though. How on earth does he get the frag on Dawes? I would have loved to see his perspective. That was absolutely insane. You have to give it to him. Massive props. And so that's going to be the first round in a while from Good Job. Bring it to a three on five. Obviously, in favor of the WASD. But 
no, not too bad. Only two rounds behind. They should be able to try and bring this back, especially picking up that dropped AWP. And uh, that's going to be allowing Box to go for the aggressive peek over towards B. And look at this, over towards main. He's just rushing in. He doesn't care. They're going in for the peek. He gets the first kill. Hello, Vista. Goodbye. And now it's going to be Tess Hustle just in this aggressive position as well. The smoke is going to maybe deter them from thinking, oh, he's not here. But they've actually gone over towards the A site, looking to try and set themselves up over here any moment. It looks like they are going to try to maybe go for this execute onto the A bomb site. Problem is, they have a bit of a that's a lack of utility. Surely Spur could definitely be throwing his smoke, for instance, wherever he wants. He can definitely throw smoke towards heaven, but problem is he is towards Squeaky, so he, no smoke, at least from his point of view, will not be thrown. Gaboric, he might be throwing a smoke of his own. Surely they've also got Maltovs to uh, clear out some of the more annoying positions like NBK, Quan, the side itself, surely forklift. But they have to time the Molotovs correct, in correct positions, of course. One of the smoke is going to get land. I think it's a decent one at that, but of course, WSD Sports, they have to decide, do they actually want to commit here because the time is ticking and they haven't really made up their mind. Where do they want to go? Yeah, it seems like the A site is going to be that one. They smoke crossover. And we're going to be seeing the first kill coming out from Coffee. Take the play and Squeaky. Lollipop taking down Gabarek. Now the push coming in towards Squeaky. Spur has to be very careful here. Dodge takes down a box, actually. That's a fantastic kill coming out from Highway. Spur takes down another one. They're going mad. Dodds with a double kill. He's looking for another one. It's not going to happen. AWP player. No for next. It's just too powerful for them. He's going to be able to pick up the AWP going into the next round, leaving them with a double AWP setup. Absolutely fantastic from these guys. They're slowly catching up here. 4 5 on the leaderboard at the moment. 10 rounds in. I'm going to see if they can actually just finish it up and take it to the equalizer. Take it to the car wash here. WSD going to be stuck on the pistols here. Four CZs, one Deagle. Surprised they didn't just go Deagles because they've proven so fruitful with those as we go further into this. 4 5. So good job trying to play the equalizer. I think they might as well mold this position from Box. What was he doing there? That was such a. Aggressive position from his point of view, and of course, he drops the op nonetheless. That is uh, a weapon you don't want to be given away so easily. No, it's a game changer. It could easily just change the whole fabric of the game. Oh, very close, very close, and actually hitting the shot in the coffee. I think he might have actually done so indeed, and of course, that is an op in the hands of Spur, and he is very, very proficient with that sniper rifle. However, Lollipop and does Hustle are even better at holding the Ventrum, and of course, Spur gets taken down, and with the bomb being dropped, that is a round win for the good job side, making it, well, as we mentioned, an equalizer. 5-5 five to five is the scoreline. It is tied, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, well, those is these sports. They will have a buy in this round. It's definitely not looking like the worst buy. Spur is back with the op. We might but just be something, you know, seeing him getting a couple more frags than usual. And he has been, he's been, been doing pretty good with the fragging department. Dodds as well. 13 frags for him, looking quite good here for the Estonian side. Of course, it is a five-man team, not a two-man team. So, of course, the remainder has to step up as well. And that's what we're hoping for. The Estonian team, they're still very much in the fight, but it's not over just yet. Yeah, hopefully, uh, I guess most people are going to be rooting for Estonians well, uh, from, from Lithuania anyway. Try to keep it within the Baltics on the Belarusian team or might actually just be able to take it for themselves as well. And Spur, he's made his way into the uh, toxic room or sun room, depends what you want to call it. And he's going to be waiting for them to try and go in for the peak here. The smoke there, he needs to try and get away. And they're not down a man, they are down a little bit of health on him as well. If he can try and find a frag, it'd be the opener that they really want. But uh, Des Hustle here, he, he doesn't care. He's just waiting patiently, not going for the aggressive peak. But you know what? Who is? This player is. He's over towards A main. He's going to get flashed, going to have to back off. And this is some sort of extra room that the T's have actually gained themselves because they, they want to try and stop good job from being able to take it to, uh, well, the taking the advance on the, the sort of sixth round um, above them as well. And they want to try and stop them. And they're a little bit more limited on utility. So I think they've been trying to, trying to farm out of them, try and make them use all their utility before they go in for the execute, which I think is actually going to be in towards mid and in towards A side. Look at this door opening. Vista going to get killed by Coffee, and the frags are going to be coming in from the opposite side. Coffee going to be getting taken down by Gabrick Spur. Going to find a frag as Gabrick finds his second as he pushes in towards the A site. Lo Lollipop going to be peeking in towards mid, but Spur, he's here. He's ready. It turns around, takes down Des Hustle. What a frag from this player. Doing absolutely fantastic. WSD taking the charge once again on the sixth round. Things are looking quite good here for the Estonian team. I've got to admit, that round in particular, surely the ace side defense crumbles and looks like, no, good job. They lose. They lose the ace side control. And of course, after that, it looks like every single player just gets taken down by one individual. 
That piece burned in the middle. I mean, he did an amazing job. Whoa, that was risky, surely. Kind of works out, but I mean, come on, Spur definitely loses uh, 45 points of health, but I mean, the risk, it doesn't pay off. No, it doesn't actually do any damage, I don't think. I think Kof Kofi lost his health to a grenade in mid, uh, or m maybe even into a main, not quite sure. But nonetheless, it's still going to be a buy round from Good Job. I mean, two players, it's going to be one on uh, MP9, one on a Deagle. So not quite full buys across the board. Limited utility as well. One diffuse kit is going to be on Lollipop. He is a sort of standard player who tends to do that on, on their side from sort of looking at their previous games on Cobble and also Inferno. When it comes to WSD, they have got a little bit of a damage done to Spur from when he was just sitting in the fire. Through the fire and flames, as it were. Vizata, uh, sorry, Vista going in towards Squeaky, trying to find some room here. Box, he's got the MP9, going for a little bit of an exploratory mission, which he might end up dying from. He might, or, oh, actually not. Box would be getting that fragment of Spur because he was only 55 points of health, but of course, actually taking Gaboric as well. Doesn't retrieve the op though, but still, there's an opening that the good job side will definitely be taken any day of the week. Of course, does Hustle. He's alone towards his B bombs, and that looks to be the case where the bomb is heading. And of course, he's got to be careful about this one. He could use some backup from Lollipop, and I think that's what he's uh, doing right now. Yeah, so 25 seconds left on the clock. They're going to be going in for the execute here, but look at this Incendu grenade. It's going to stop a few of them from pushing on, but it's not going to stop Gabrook, but he's going to get dropped. The bomb is out of play here. They're going to get taken down. It's all going to be down to Dos to try and clutch this out, and there's no way he can do this. He's going to get dropped by Desharso, picks up the AK, and that is a fantastic round here from the CTs. He's making it to the equalizer once again. These two teams just doing a fantastic job so far on this map. And going into the, into the next round, it's going to be looking a little bit desperate for WSD. They can't buy into this round. It's going to be a partial buy, just pistols, a few P250s, a few deagles, and trying to see as much, see how much damage they can do. Yeah, but I think that's just going to be the case with this round only. I mean, they're going to be, uh, of course, a bit of a partial buy. I guess you could say Gaborg, the only one with a reasonable investment. Very close to hitting those shots, but still close enough is not good enough. But yeah, I mean, uh, after this round, we're going to be seeing WSD Sports back on the gun round, the proper gun round. That's what I'm hoping for to see. But of course, this puts the CT side in a position where they can get themselves a seven round. This hustle, though, you've got to be careful. He might be shooting at one T, but another one might as well just pop right in front of him. He will be getting the fragment to spur, but that is definitely still doesn't really mean too much here as the WSD Sports side might as well try to push onto the B bombs. And of course, their job at this point, get a palm plant. If possible, get a palm plant. If not, well, it's so good, good old-fashioned eco. So, of course, if you can deal as much damage as possible, that's going to be quite good here. They are dealing the damage, though. The hustle still alive towards B, but, uh, however, there's still Dots with the Deagle, and I don't think Dots going to be accomplishing much anyhow. So, it's still a pretty decent round here for the uh, Estonian squad. Yeah, but that is the seventh round to one more, and they have the well, highest amount of rounds that are on any side they could get. So eight rounds would be fantastic here for a good job. Nine rounds is ideally what they want to try and get by the end of this. Uh, if they can do any better, brilliant, but not really going to happen most likely. So AWP is going to be brought up by Spur. He's going to be looking to maybe take the aggressive position, I imagine, over towards a B, try and get that early frag and counter the CTs, but they might just be countering each other out here. Neither one of them actually going to be able to land that shot. Boost coming out from Box, though. This is going to be a big play, but he's going to get burned alive, and he's going to have to back off. I think that mid play is actually just messes them up time and time again. I mean, Box, uh, not, a few, not, too men not too long ago, we saw him rushing towards mid with an AWP underneath uh, Boost, and it just makes no sense. Spur, though, holding his position, and he might just be able to get a frag. The smoke coming in, he needs to time the shot perfectly. But we're actually going to be seeing the CT player just stay safe in events. He might just be staying safe, but the question is for how long WSD, they are still going to have to make the push, and the push win, it will come in. I mean, the player towards uh, the event room, definitely in position to do some damage about this one, but of course, look at the map knowledge being acquired by Boss. He's pushed up all the way for Squeaky, and it hasn't seen a single T player. So this is definitely a you know, pretty good information game here for the CT side. Of course, this will allow one of the players from the A side to actually rotate towards that B side, and this is where the push will come in. Box continuing on with his mission, flanking slowly but surely. And of course, WSD Sports, they have to crack open, uh, crack open this side, otherwise things could get messy. And of course, that's a great opening there for Spur, and Bitcher getting a frag as well, Lollipop getting taken down, and the flanker dies as well. So now Phoenix gonna try to do what he can, but what he can is, uh, well, questionable. I think he should probably go for the save at this point. 
Yeah, there's not really much you can do, especially when you can get sprayed through the wall there. The T's in such a strong position, and he's going to get dropped in mid. Dodd's going to stop him from being able to save that, and that is a fantastic round via WSD as we go into the final round of the first half of the first map here on Cash. Good job versus WSD. What well, a fantastic game it's so far. Box is he's, he's kind of dropping off so far this game. He's not doing as well as you might expect. Uh, he's... Um, Running into mid, he's all over the place. He's sort of dropping the orb down when he shouldn't do. And uh, Spur seems like his mouse might be playing up a little bit here as he uh, keeps looking at the floor. Maybe Spurs is uh, simply excited. <laughs> Very excited to be playing in this grand final, though. Box gonna try to go for this one. He's successful to getting the one kill. This guy right behind him, he might as well just back away. I can't believe this for Cows and Box with a frag as well. This is now looking horrid for WASD Sports. A frag as well. Another frag for Box. This. How on earth is this even happening here for the uh, CT side? Working out in their favor. Maybe a bit too much. Lady Luck definitely working over here. Not anymore, though. He is going to get taken down. So advantage slightly lost here. But you know what? Information is there. Bomb is down in towards garage. They're going to have to go retrieve that on the T side. It's not going to be too, get, too hard. But Vista, he has to try and make some uh, leeway in towards the A site here. 55 seconds left on the clock. Coffee, he's holding the angle in towards Squeaky and can easily flick over towards the A main as well. And alongside that, Lollipop, he's got that Deagle. And we know how vicious he can be if that. I mean, he managed to clutch it out before. He's over towards Car, making his way over towards mid, trying to hold it in towards that connector area. At the same time, they've left mid completely. And now, you know what? Tease, they've left the bomb completely as well. They're doing a full flip side. Yeah, they have to, um, uh, simple as that. They have to pick up the bomb. I mean, no bomb can be planted if the bomb is not well. With the T's at this point, so of course, some nice positions has been, have been taken by the CTs, though. However, they might get bamboozled over here because the push is making its way towards this B bounce. It does hustle. Should be good for the one frag, but the one frag is going to be enough. Not even a single frag with this hustle. That's a bit dissatisfying for him. Surely could have gotten at least the one frag, but now the retake has to commence. Coffee and Lollipop. Well, I've got to admit, they're definitely not in the best positions, especially with that Molotov being deployed. Things are not looking good here for the CT side. Looks like they're going to try to go for this one. The flash is actually perfect, but still, it's not good enough. Vista and Gaborik will be ending it in an 8-7 fashion. I'm pretty think, uh, and I'm thinking it's going to be good. I think it's going to be pretty good. I think the Estonian team is going to be happy about their result. Yeah, they can definitely be, especially with that clutch towards the end there and the two versus three situation. They're exploring all their options on both sides, going over towards A main, staying around the area. And whilst in the meantime, I think it was actually Gabrak who ventured over towards the B site, went over towards the sort of vent rooms, sort of checked it out a little bit, and then explored into the site with his teammate, smoked it off, got the kill onto the play on site as well. That was crucial. If they hadn't got that, they could have been just a GG right there, and they would have gone into this uh, second half without as many wins. So we're going to be seeing good job switch over towards the T side. As we go into this, we're going into the pistol round. Yeah, the pistol round will commence here. It will commence here. The second half will begin here. Good job playing on the T side. Of course, WSD. Now they themselves going to be playing on that CT side. Let's see. They really like opting for those armors. Pretty much every single time we're seeing them uh, play on the CT side, they always get five armors across the board. It looks like uh, they're going to be relying quite a bit on their aim. And of course, we've definitely seen some great aim potential from uh, the uh, Estonian players. Dots definitely one hell of a 4K that he did had in, uh, I think it was Train, where he was actually able to pick up easy four clicks for him. And of course, Dawes. Again, Dawes will be getting the frag here. Looking quite good here for the Estonian side already. Yeah, so we're going to be seeing the execution coming in towards B here. Dodds, the man of the hour. Can he pick up the ace? That might well be the case. And he's going to be looking to try and snap off some heads. Misses a shot. Slow whips, and he's going to get punished for a box. Going to snap his head off as he pushes through to the other side of the smoke. In towards CT. Doesn't quite happen. Then the CTs are just being shot out of here. Spur are going to be trying to chime in with the frag over towards the, uh, the side. But it's not going to happen as his head's going to get taken off. And... And they might be trying to continue pushing in through heaven, but they're just going to get denied it completely as they uh, they just can't give up. They, they want to push in and they want to try and win this. No defuse gate on their side as well, but Vista Bitch are going to be able to pick up one each. And now it's going to be left at a one versus two. He finds one, but not the second one. The clutch comes out. And the first round of the second half comes in favor of good job. Fantastic round by them as well, hitting those headshots. And I think it was all down to the fact that Dodds didn't try and pull off that same uh, 4K. Yeah, really, I mean... He is a position where there were a lot of players. There were a lot of players coming his win. Of course, landing the headshots can sometimes be difficult. 
understandably so. I mean, there's so many play, uh, players on your screen that you have to aim and you have to take down. But of course, it doesn't really work out for Dots, but it does work out here for Spur as he will be getting the very first initial frag onto Coffee Box, replying with a kill of his own. This is all the action that's happening towards the mid portion of the map. But of course, that's where you want to go in the rounds like this. If you're the T side, you have the uh, weaponry advantage as well. But of course, Seems to be the case. They want to try to push towards this B bomb side. Bitch over the kill. Death Hustle, though, will be replying. It's still a free versus free. They have to push on forward here. Death Hustle, crucial frag for his team. And I think Dodds is in a very incredibly uh, difficult situation right now, as he has been spotted. And of course, uh, trying to get a single frag would be quite good for him, but definitely not the round win. No, and so he's going to be looking to peek in here. He might just be able to find a frag. No, going to get denied it. Another round on the board, and this time it's the lead that they really wanted. And now they can continue on pushing through. This is going to be a nice bonus round for them that they should be able to get on the board to smash out WSD Sports into this position. And now Fnatic is going to be able to buy up anyway. They've upgraded guns, potentially a little bit prematurely, but it also saves them from having to upgrade the guns after buying up SMGs. So why not in the end? One upgraded pistol on the side of WSD is going to be the CZ. And they're going to be pushing in towards mids, and they're just going to get both down. The AK, UMP come in the favor, but Vista finds one. But that is all she wrote, is they're going to get absolutely destroyed. But Dodds going to be able to find box and still doing a little bit of damage. Two guns dropped, but we're going to go into the main part of the game here. A full buy coming out, Spur. He finds armor, and he also finds the AWP. Yeah, the gun round. It is of great importance. I mean, previously, it was still the very first half. So, I mean, picking up a gun round would be good, as it might have established some sort of dominance. But as we saw, it was still a very even score. And in the end, they're 8-7. to seven. That's Hustle, though, trying to go for the frag. But he is not successful, though, as the player is low in HP. But Spur, though, the up works out for him. He'll be putting off the head of this Hustle. So that is a good frag now for the Estonian squad, but of course, they do lose one of their own, the T players. That's Hustle, but still Spur, though, could have gotten that kill. Definitely was in a position to pick up that kill, but still, you still have the remainder four T players of this uh, no T side, and uh, well, they're still very much alive, I've got to admit. Yeah, and Lollipop looking to enter in here with his teammates dropping in and out and towards Vent. They have to watch out on Headshot and also on Slide. The Headshot player gonna get dropped as well, but Bitcher has found a kill before he was dropped. And look at this play on site. Gavro gonna go huge. No, gonna get denied it. It's Coffee gonna take him out. And that was a team kill as well. He killed Lollipop. He had a little bit of a taste for the Sweet Tooth. And he's gonna be able to take him out. And his Coffee's gonna be left on one HP. And Fnatic is gonna be left on 96. So it's gonna be a two versus three situation retake in favor of WSD if they can get in here. But b side is so hard to do, especially versus this. But look, Coffee gonna get dropped down. One versus three, can Fnatic do this? The pressure's gonna be on, they're gonna be looking to peek in here. One from Heaven, one from Lower CT. The pressure's on, he's gonna be peeking on, he finds one, looks in for the second kill, hits it. He's going nuts through the air. He drops down, he's gonna be tagged down to 27 HP. Spur gonna have to try and clutch this out. He drops up and he's gonna get taken down. Three headshots, the man's a beast and he clutches it out for his team. Picks up the AWP. What a round coming in from the T side. Good job, leading the charge by three rounds. What a crucial clutch at that. I mean, Phoenix, him actually picking that up, of course, means that uh, the Estonian team has to go back on an eco. They are going to be hitting, I think, maximum lose money bonus very soon after this round. But I mean, come on. Looks like good job. We're now going to be having even 12 rounds. Where, how how what? did you get that frag? The box, I think it might have actually been through the uh, garage door, actually. Yeah, it must have been. Uh, it, maybe even just clips on through the wall, but fantastic kill. Nonetheless, and Vista going to get taken down before we can do much work. Coffee takes down Bitcher. This should just be nice and easy for them. Gavarek, last player left alive, but they are going to him. So he might be at one or two kills, but he whiffs, goes full potato, and Coffee going to get drained away, and he's going to get changed for a cup of tea. You know, the oh. British love that. Uh, <laughs> so we're going into now round 21. 12 rounds on the board for a good job, and just props to them. They are really smashing out right now. T-side is theirs. Yeah, the T-side is looking strong. The T-side is definitely looking strong. But of course, the question is, how will the T-side tackle the double ops set up off the CTs? You have Dodds with the ops, Spur as well. I think Spur is towards middle. And of course, this is where some of the T-players, to be exact, Box with the op is uh, stationed at. And of course, still have one player towards standby. So he doesn't really see much as of yet. And of course, Box is still very much alive with the op zone. And of course, well, WSD Sports, these are the rounds that they have to be winning, especially if they want to try to make a comeback with us right now. Good job. They're doing a very good job. Indeed, Gaborik will be getting the frag into this hustle. And, well, again, another opening frag here goes in favor of the WSD Sports side. But, I mean, 
we have seen time and time again when even though they have the advantage, they do tend up losing it. Yeah, so hopefully they can actually uh, keep this and actually try and take another one. There we go. Dodds takes down Coffee, and he's uh, in a very difficult situation over towards Quad. He might just get fragged out here. Smokes goes down, but they're going to rotate T side, pushing over towards potentially mid and maybe even B. But you know what? 5 3, massive advantage over to WSD here. But in the situation, if they push over towards B, they could take it a sort of three on two situation. But it's going to be over in towards mid, and it's going to be Box pushing up mid, maybe even going towards Harry, trying to find the frag. One and connect on CT side. He might just be the disruptor here for this player. He might just even peek in. If he does that, Dodds would just really ruin this sort of uh, chance here for the T side as they're looking to try and execute in towards the B site. Bitches though from above from heaven, but he's going to end up in hell because he's going to be dropped down. Boxer entering in as Lollipop going to be able to take down Bitcher. Connect lower CT. It doesn't happen. Spur headshot going in for the nose scope. Doesn't hit it. And he's going to get taken down from the yeah, going to do a fantastic job. But Vista denying him the chance. Now Lollipop going to be left in a one versus three situation as they push into him. He's going to take one from headshot going in for the second. Well, what is this? He's gone mad. A 3K clutch. The man is a beast. He is out of this world. A little bit too sweet for their tooth as he's going to clutch it out and take it to the 13th round. You can't deny that was one hell of a spray transfer onto the second player there. Headshot after headshot. Why? Why did they go for those <laughs> in individual engagements? It makes no sense. He's only one player. Surely they could have gone for the double peak, especially towards CTS. There were two players there. That was, that was not supposed to happen, but it did. And I mean, props to Lollipop. He gets the frags and he gets the round win as well. And this could be another round win here for the T side. Of course, Bitcher, he will be dropping Lollipop. So now the one of the players has been dropped. But of course, the good job side is now making their way towards this A bomb site. And they have made it. They made their way into the bomb site. And now the bomb is going to get planted. Yeah, just, just seeing plays like that from Lollipop just makes me want to like sing one of that, that, the songs to do with like, Lollipop. It just makes me happy. When he, when he does plays like that, it fills me with happiness. It's just nice to see us go. Plays like this though, Bitcher missing a lot of shots, finally going to be able to take down one, might get dropped down, he's down to 17 HP, his two teammates have been killed, and there we go. That's Hustle going to be able to finish off that round, and they're just looking rather happy for themselves. 14-8 on this first map. They didn't take the advantage of the first half, but they definitely have on the second half so far. They only need another two rounds in total to be able to win this out. WSD are going to be on a buy round, but they are going to be slightly limited on the player. Gabarik as they move forward, where's good job? They've got everything, they've got all the trimmings, they got absolutely everything they could want to go into this next round. They just have to make the plays. And when you've got Lollipop, Box, I mean, the whole team are into this. It's a, it's a team game, and they're, they're following through on that. Yeah, it's a team game indeed, but it's not the team that's going to be getting the frag. It's going to be Phoenix with the frag onto Vista. And of course, looks like the push will commence with Dots with the frag. That's a crucial frag indeed. A second frag for him, but the second frag is not going to be enough to stop the defense, though. Anyhow, the offense now is actually going to be planting the bomb, putting themselves in some decent positions. No flank as of yet, as, they'll be, as they will be coming from highway as well as car. Good job. Have got a pretty good, uh, I'd say, grasp onto this round. Yeah, they might just be able to sort of smash this one out and uh, win on, but I'm not sure, because WSD, they have still got three people left alive. A half decent amount of utility, two defuse kits as well. Almost full HP across all that players. Saying that low, bitch is going to get dropped down quite low. What oh, is that? That's also takes him down, but it's going to be a trade up from Bitcher. Bitcher going huge, going to take down two, but Box, what he doing? <laughs> Sprays one after the other through the same player. It's killing the AWP player who had no chance to try and uh, rebuttal that attempt of, on his life in Box. Going to end up with a free AWP anyway, but 15th round on the board. This could be it. That's the whole exciting thing about watching a team like uh, Good Job. They've got that tactical play style going as well. They've got team cohesion in every single time. You might be wondering, well, who's the best fragger? Like, pretty much every single player from this team can step up. Pretty much whenever they need to. Lollipop with a clutch, Phineas with a clutch, Das Hustle also doing a very great job in the fragging prowess. And of course, I've got to admit, things are looking up for this Belarusian side. Yeah, I mean, we, they, we saw them obviously in the last semi, uh, semi-finals and they were just smashing it out and I'm, I'm not surprised that they won it. Because when they're able to play like this against a team like WSD Sports and we saw them go absolutely huge in the first semi-finals, they did lose the first map obviously on Mirage, but they followed it up with two smashing games, one on train, one on uh, nuke. So I'm a little bit scared if we're going to be seeing one of those in, the, uh, in this series. So if we do, we might actually see WSD come back into this if good job able to win this out. But, it's not over yet. The fact lady hasn't sung, and we're still going into this. Two UMPs, two M4s, and the scout on the CT side. No one's died yet. A little bit of damage onto Spur. He's down to 92, but that doesn't really do too much in this uh, sort of game. And we've actually got an A setup coming out. Yeah, it seems to be that uh, 
This defense. Well, they've got three players on the bomb side. They've got one. They need to start getting the frags here, WSD. And they're not getting them. Finally, Vista replies, but the reply is way too late, even though the bomb side has been taken. There's still two players surviving for the Estonian side, Gaborik and Bitter. They're gonna have to try and go for this one. Of course, this is match point here. And of course, Lollipop with the flank. Now, Gaborik in a horrible predicament. Surely the UMP cannot make it through. He's putting in the damage, though, but the damage is not enough. And good job will be picking up themselves cash, the very first map of the best of three series. What an intense game that was. WSD picking up eight rounds, but I don't think they... Did they pick up any on the, the second half, apart from maybe one? Um, I think they picked up... Zero. Zero. Wow. This, um, this is like what happened uh, <laughs> against Compass on Cobblestone. That, that is just absolutely crazy. That is a fantastic scenario here for Good Job. He just smashed it out. Do not challenge them for an aggressive tactical play because they have got that to the point. And they're going to be able to win out the first map here as we go through to the second map very shortly. Let's discuss Lollipop. And also good, um, Box as well. He, he kind of whiffed it a lot on the CT side, but it really came to his um, actual fruition over on the, the T side. I guess you can say that. I mean, really, on the CT side, they did struggle a bit in, at the very, I guess you could say, uh, start there. But they did start building up some yeah. momentum, uh, momentum. And of course, that momentum move on forward, for instance, when they switched halves onto the T side. And of course, that is definitely some great stuff from uh, the good job side. Sure, definitely. OK, brilliant. Well, you know what? I want to see some of those frags. And we're going to do that right now. And we're going to be watching some of the highlights. And we'll be back in 10 minutes. So make sure to stick around. See you in a second. Now it's about time. Now it's time for the WSD side to pounce and looks like it's working out quite well. Dots with the one frag, but gets a second one. In, in towards uh, actually a main, they're gonna be pushing, but the Mac 10 going huge, taking out two MP9 jumping in. This is a lot of money. Dots, there's nothing. Let's go for the aggressive peak over towards B and look at this. Over towards main. He's just rushing in, he doesn't care. They're going in for the peak, he gets the first kill. Hello, Vista. Sniper rifle, however, the Lollipop and does hustle are even better at holding the Ventrum, and of course, Spur gets taken down, and with the bomb being dropped. Yeah, so 25 seconds left on the clock. They're going to be going in for the execute here, but look at this Incendio grenade. It's going to stop a few of them from pushing on, but it's not going to stop Gabrook, but he's going to get dropped. The bomb is out of play here. They're going to get taken down. It's all going to be down. Quite good here. They are dealing the damage, though. The hustle still left towards B, but however, there's still Dots with the Deagle, and I don't think Dots is going to be accomplishing much anyhow. Very excited to be playing in this grand final, though. Box is going to try to go for this one. He's successful to getting the one kill, this guy right behind him, he might as well just back away. I can't believe this for cows in box with a frag as well. This is now looking horrid for WASD Sports. A frag as well, another frag for box. This, how on earth is this even happening here for the uh, it's going to be the CZ, and they're going to be pushing in towards mid, and they're just going to get both down. The AK, UMP come in the favor, but Vista finds one, but that is all she wrote, is they're going to get absolutely destroyed, but Dots going to be peek in here. One from heaven, one from lower CT. The pressure's on. He's going to be peeking on. He finds one. Looks in for the second kill. Hits it. He's going nuts through the air. He drops down. He's going to be tagged down to 27 HP. Spur going to have to try and clutch this out. He drops up and he's going to get taken down. Three headshots. The man's a beast and he clutches it out for his team. Picks up the AWP. What a one versus three situation as they push into him. He's going to take one from headshot. Going in for the second. Well, what is this? He's going mad. Oh, is that Death Hustle takes him down, but it's going to be a trade-off from Bitcher. Bitcher going huge, going to take down two, but Box, what are you doing? <laughs> Sprays one after the other through the same pigment. Surely the UMP cannot make it through. He's putting in the damage, though, but the damage is not enough, and good job. will be picking up themselves cash, the very first map of the best of three series. 